trucks and the environment have never really got on terribly well together. And, while not everyone believes in taking to the trees in protest, road haulage generally gets a bad press when it comes to eco-friendliness. But from the land of Abba and the midnight sun, these fiendishly clever Volvo people have had a go and come up with this, the environmental concept truck. Over the past few years, the truck has been developed to show what technology can achieve to help the planet in the 21st century. This isn't like getting into a truck cab as I know it. It's more like entering a 21st century office. And it all starts with this, the driver's personalised key card. Slip it in the slot there, that fires up the computer. There are lights galore here, all sorts of diagrams, all the systems are going. You've got the navigation lays here, you can see exactly where you are, and more importantly, head office can see where the driver is. And the driver's got this telephone here, so he can keep in touch. It's quite remarkable. And the seat settings, there are dozens of them so that the driver can be very comfortable, and there are four different driver statistics that can be stored in there forevermore. Right, off we go. Although it proved quite easy to drive, because it cost £10 million to develop, the Volvo boffins were rather anxious that I had one of their number alongside me. If you want to, you put the finger on the speaker, then you have the radio and the CD player. And then in the back. Oh, this is for your telephone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But telephones and computer screens notwithstanding, what really makes the ECT special is its hybrid engine. It has a low emission gas turbine, which works together with a high-speed generator. This propels energy to an electric motor fitted on the rear axle and any surplus energy goes to the batteries for storage which can then be used to provide power for 20 pollution-free miles. In fact, as far as technical wizardry goes, Volvo haven't skimped on anything, from the high-intensity ultraviolet lights to specially made low-friction tyres. Now, normally when you're driving a truck you do spend a lot of time looking in the mirrors. Here, there aren't any at all. What there are are video screens with the cameras showing what you would normally see through a driving mirror. And I find that a little disconcerting, especially when the sun shines into the camera. Mind you, when reversing, the video cameras come into their own. When backing up, you know to the inch just where you are. And another clever trick is controlling each set of wheels separately, which is great for manoeuvring in narrow spaces by crabbing along or turning in very tight circles with its four-wheel steering. But Volvo weren't spending all their time developing the ECT. Using the same technology and know-how and a further five million pounds, they produced the environmental concept bus. It's got the same general layout as the truck, but while that feels like flying Concorde, this is more like Starship Enterprise. It's certainly a unique feeling sitting uh, in the centre driving along here. You've got very good vision on both sides. Of course, the Swedes used to drive on the left, and then 20 years ago they changed to the right, so um, we're in the middle now, so we're catering for all tastes. In fact, the controls of the bus are like those of the truck, and it handles in a very similar way, despite the batteries and drive system being stored in the roof. It's built from high-strength, low-weight aluminium, and the compartment is shielded by steel roll cages. Computer control suspension adds to the safety, and if the bus rolls in one direction, the computers will cut in to keep it on an even keel. There's a huge amount of room inside with the seats attached to the safety cage. And there are trapdoors in the floor, just in case the unthinkable happened and it turned over. It has a low floor and plenty of headroom. The whole thing is bristling with technology, but Volvo aren't content to sit back and leave it at that. We will try out uh, different kinds of uh, hybrid drive lines. 
with uh, maybe not a gas turbine, an electric engine, but with a petrol engine and a catalytic converter or diesel engine, all together, of course, with the electric part of this driveline. Are there other things that may be going on future models that uh, are still in development? Well, if you wait for a couple of years from now, you might see. That's our secret so far. So, although this particular model won't be seen on the bus routes of the world, there's every hope that something very similar from Volvo will eventually arrive at a bus stop near you. Next